Hello, and thanks for checking out this video. Ever since I uploaded my last Hofner Beetle Base video, I just couldn't resist and I had to get my own Hofner. Now, from a pure shape and ergonomics point of view, I had always gravitated towards the club base shape over the violin base. Most because the uh, this lower belt here just fits my thigh better. And overall, I just like the look of the club base shape more than the beetle base. So I got really, really lucky that my uh, local music store happened to have a cavern base and uh, a club base for me to try out. And the club base won out when I uh, AB the two. So today I wanna answer the question, does the club base sound just like a beetle base? Stay tuned. There are three lines to the Hofner bases. Uh, the entry level is the Ignition series. That used to be called the Icon series, and somewhere in their history, the Icon series became the Ignition series, and those are made in China. On the other end, you have the German-made Hofners, and those are the pretty pricey ones, um, several thousand dollars. And in between, it's the contemporary series. And that's what this is. This is a contemporary series Hofner Club Bass. It is the uh, 500 slash uh, two model. Now these are also made in China, but I gotta say overall, the build quality of these are pretty good. Um, compared to the Icon Bass that I had borrowed and uh, shot the first video with, some of the finer details in the binding, uh, the neck joint and the set neck and the finish and overall the feel, uh, I will say this contemporary series is more upscale than the Ignition and the Icon series. Now the design is also slightly different in addition to the shape. Uh, it has the same spruce top and maple back and sides. It has the same uh, style ebony floating bridge, tailpiece, control layout. But one big difference uh, is these are uh, the German pickups. So whereas in the Ignition series, the pickups are made in China, these are supposed to be the made in Germany versions. The neck construction is also different. This features a three piece neck, so maple beach, uh, maple with a Jatoba fingerboard uh, and that's different from the Icon and the Ignition series because those feature one-piece maple necks. The other change is this has a zero fret uh, which is more faithful to the German models. Now the Contemporary series is also different than the Ignition series because they use a center block as well. So there's a piece of spruce uh, that runs down the middle here so it is not a true hollow body unlike the true german violin bases and even in the ignition series so the question i want to answer today is does the addition of the center block and the german pickups make it sound different does it sound like a beetle bass you can be the judge but we can go through some uh, sounds on this base. The control layout is the same as the Ignition and the Icon series, uh, as well as with the German um, uh, violin bases. So you have uh, volume control for the neck pickup, the volume control for the bridge pickup, and then three toggle switches, rhythm and solo, bass on and off, and treble on and off. Uh, how I ran the Icon Beetle bass in the last video was with the volume knob at 50, uh, this toggle on the rhythm, uh, bass off and treble off, and this is the sound. Now, you can also dial in some of the bridge pickup in this setting as well, so we can do that. Now for me in my taste, if I'm playing a Hofner bass uh, of this style, I probably won't use the bridge pickup uh, very much because I want that tubby tone. So let's roll that back down. 
Uh, the rhythm and solo uh, toggle in the solo position, you get a bit of volume boost. So there's this. Put that back to rhythm. Now the interesting thing with the control panel on this bass, unlike the Icon uh, bass that I had borrowed, when I put the bass on, it's supposed to engage a high-end treble roll-off. On this bass, however, you get that, but you also get a bit of a volume loss as well. So I'll show you. Here's with it off. Now let's turn it on. You do get that treble roll off, but you also lose quite a bit of volume. Now you can compensate for that by rolling the volume knob up, which I will do. Now that's a good sound, but I'm a little puzzled by the volume drop. So here's with it off again, and I've dropped, I've rolled the volume back to where I had it before. Then bass on. That's a pretty significant volume drop. I'm not quite sure why that is. If you know, please comment below. And then the treble on and off will then turn the neck pickup off and turn the bridge pickup on. And then you can run the bridge pickup solo. But again, that's not really a sound that I'm looking for. So here's back to uh, how I like to have it set. So the volume uh, pot for the neck pickup around 50%, uh, rhythm solo on the rhythm setting, and then bass uh, and treble both in the off position. So having uh, had the opportunity to AB the club bass and the cavern, which is the violin bass, but the bridge pickup is closer to the neck. Uh, this one went out. This one's more comfortable uh, for me to play and uh, for me to hold in the sitting position. But more importantly, I think with the addition of the center block, it does make the club bass a little more versatile uh, for me. It doesn't just do the Beatle McCartney thing, uh, but it is capable of getting uh, other sounds. And that's why I ultimately decided on getting the club bass. So today, why don't I put the club bass up against the drum track and we'll play it uh, figure style. And then I will put up a compilation video uh, between this and the Icon Beatle bass from my first Hofner video. And you be the judge. Can the club bass sound like the Beatle bass? Comments below. Hope you enjoy the video. Until next time. Peace.